Who Hatches the Egg? All About Eggs by Tish Rabe. I'm the cat in the hat. We must leave right away. Can you guess what I'm cooking for breakfast today? Eggs. They're delicious, boiled, scrambled, or fried. Come on and jump in, and let's go for a ride. Most eggs that we eat come from chickens, it's true, but eggs come from many different animals too. Laying eggs is what birds, insects, and spiders do. Most amphibians, fish, and reptiles do too. When you look at eggs, you find lots of surprises. They have different shapes, different colors, and sizes. This bird's egg is a cone-shaped. She laid it on this ledge. Cone-shaped eggs cannot roll. They won't fall off the edge. That's a muir egg. On this egg are spirals that help it to grip onto rocks or in sand so the egg will not slip. That is a horn shark egg. Lace wings lay eggs on stalks hanging from plants. This helps to keep them safe from hungry ants. What shape are insect eggs? Here we can see that their eggs may be oval, round, long, thin, or flat. Eggs are all kinds of colors red, white, green, or blue. Some have different patterns, like these eggs here do. Some mothers build nests and lay their eggs inside them. Nests are one way that a mother can hide them. This is a crocodile egg. A crocodile digs a hole for her nest in the ground, then covers it with dirt, leaves, and grass in a mound. Not all nests are made in the same size and shape. This nest is a shallow hole. That's called a scrape. Some birds dig a scrape and line it with vegetation, which helps keep eggs warm. It's natural insulation. This is a northern pintail. A sea turtle crawls out of the sea onto land and then digs a hole for her nest in the sand. Will she have boys or girls? That depends on which part of the nest they are laid in. Here, look at this chart. Deep in the cool sand, boys will likely be born. Girls usually hatch up where the sand is warm. Not all birds build nests. This owl, you can see, may lay her eggs in a hollow tree. This cuckoo found a bird's nest and laid her egg there. Then she flew off and left it in the other bird's care. This is a warbler. Some mothers watch over the eggs that they lay, but some lay their eggs and then leave right away. A Nile crocodile guards her nest day and night. If a predator comes, it is in for a fight. This is a Nile monitor lizard. This butterfly lays eggs then leaves them behind. They are green and blend in and are hard to find. That is a eastern swallowtail butterfly. Some animal dads are never about, but some stay around and are there to help out. This is a midwife toad. Till they hatch, this male toad will carry his eggs in long strings of jelly that circle his legs. To keep his eggs safe, a dad jawfish will hide the eggs in his mouth which he keeps open wide. You can see for this dad, it is no easy feat. For five to seven days, he cannot eat and cannot drink. A seahorse is a fish, and what seahorse dads do is give birth to their babies. It's amazing, but true. This fish looks like a horse with a long curled up tail. The female lays her eggs in a pouch on the male. 
The male holds the eggs in his pouch till the day he gives birth to the babies which soon float away. Most mammals don't lay eggs. A monotremes do. A platypus lays eggs. And echidnas does too. An echidna lays an egg that is oval in shape. It is small and about the same size as this grape. When it hatches, a baby called a puggle breaks out by using an egg tooth on the end of its snout. A platypus digs two burrows, a plain one for resting, and one lined with leaves. That one is for nesting. She lays up to three eggs, and as I have seen, each egg is the size of this pink jelly bean. After three or four months, her babies can swim. They get to the water, then glide right in. How do little chicks grow? I will show you the ways a little chick grows over 21 days. The egg yolk provides food while the chick grows in there, and while it is growing, it needs to get air. There are holes in the shell. Through these pores, the air flows in and out, out and in, as the little chick grows. This is the way the chick looks at day three. She's tiny and looks like a small letter C. Here is the chick on day seven. After only one week, look closely. You'll see she is growing a beak. By day 12, she can wiggle and bumps will begin to pop out all over the little chick's skin. These will turn into feathers. It's day 21. The chick's ready to hatch. All her growing is done. An egg tooth on her beak helps the chick begin chipping. The process of breaking the shell is called pipping. Cracking open the shell is not easy and takes all the little chick's strength till the shell finally breaks. Now she is out in the air. Her feathers dry quick. Very soon she will turn into a cute fluffy chick. In five or six months she will be fully grown and able to start laying eggs of her own. Here is a hard question, the kind that is worse. The chicken or the egg? Do you know which came first? The end.